Slave Airfield opened in early 1943. During the Second World War, this was known as RAF Slape. RAF Slape might have looked a little bit like this model, which we found at RAF Cosford Museum the other day. The aircraft flying from here were mostly Armstrong Whitworth Whitley bombers, and from 1944, Horsa gliders, which were used to carry troops and used the Whitley as tow planes. There were two fatal crashes at Slape in the summer of 1943 when Whitley's came off the runway and hit the control tower. On the 26th of August 1943, at 3.20 hours, a Whitley pilot made an emergency landing. Both engines failed and the plane bounced off the runway and smashed into the watchtower. Two of the crew in the front of the plane were killed. The rest of the crew and members of staff in the watchtower were injured. Just a few weeks later, on September 7th, 1943, at um, 0, 0 0.25 hours, another Whitley ploughed into the watch office during takeoff. The building and the station fire tender were engulfed in flames. Of the aircraft crew, only the rear gunner survived. Two staff in the watch office and an airman on duty on the fire tender were also killed. There's a memorial to the air crew and the staff from the airfield who died in the crash.